TV, Linmar Television. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Friday, May 20th, NASCAR Day, 2016. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, this week flew by fast and it's time for weekend. LMTV's Erica, Jeff, and Allie are here with your LMTV weekend report. Well, guys, our sports teams have a busy weekend ahead of them. Girls and boys track continues to compete at the state tournament in Des Moines. Varsity girls tennis team competes in the regional meet at Waterloo West at 9. Varsity boys tennis competes in the substate meet. Varsity girls soccer plays Johnston at West Des Moines Valley at 9. 10th grade and JV girls and boys tennis compete in Metro Mixed Doubles meet on our courts at 9. 10th grade and varsity boys soccer host Washington in our stadium at 11. We have two new movies to tell you about. Angry Birds. When an island populated by happy flightless birds is visited by mysterious green piggies, it's up to three unlikely outcasts, Red, Chuck, and Bomb, to figure out what the pigs are up to. Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. After a sorority moves in next door, which is worse than the fraternity before it, Mac and Kelly have to ask for help from their former enemy, Teddy. That's your weekend. Make it a great one. Becky, back to you. Thanks, guys. Also this weekend, it's the Marion Arts Festival. While you're there, you can buy a bowl created by Linmar Art and 9th grade tag students. It's part of the Empty Bowls Project. Proceeds from the sale of the bowls will go to a variety of organizations feeding the hungry here in the metro area. Underclassmen, it's time to check out your class schedule for next year. Check it out on your PowerSchool account under the Document Vault. Take a look at your schedule today to make sure you will have all of your required classes. Questions? See your counselor. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Are you interested in today's technology? Well, the Linmar High School Library is hosting an event just for you. Tech Week, it runs from May 23rd to the 27th in our library. You can read, learn, and win fabulous prizes throughout the entire week. That's right, you can win prizes by participating in various events. Events like a technology scavenger hunt, a code off, and much, much more. Remember, Tech Week runs from May 23rd to the 27th in our library. For more information, you can check out their website, tinyurl.com forward slash lmtechweek. Support our library and come join the fun of Tech Week. Welcome back. Seniors, if you have not picked up your cap and gown, pick it up from the 1112 office today. Also, if you have not picked up your senior checkout list, Pick up this from the 1112 office today. Completed forms are due Wednesday at noon. And finally, seniors who are signed up for the volunteer day and have not turned in your signed permission form, they must be turned in by this Monday, May 23rd, or you will not be able to participate, and you'll be required to be at school that day. Now, Garrett is here with sports. Thanks, Becky. On the scoreboard, at the state tournament, girls track is in second after five events. Stephanie Jenks took first in the 3,000. Peyton Wenzel took first in the 400, and Lamar took fifth in the 3,200-meter relay. For the guys in the state meet through five events, our, our guys are tied for 16th place. Ryan Murphy took fourth in the 3,200-meter run. Girls soccer fell short to wash, 2-1 to one in overtime. Conference honors are out for girls tennis. Elite, Ellie Anderson made the first team and was named Conference Athlete of the Year. Lamar was named the Conference Team Champion, and our coach, Stacey Carpenter, was named Coach of the Year. Congratulations, girls tennis. Girls Tennis. Today in Linmar Sports, varsity girls and boys track compete in the Field and State Meet in Des Moines. Varsity girls soc soccer competes in the West Des Moines Valley at 5.30. Team dismissed at 11.50. Congratulations to the team Dodge, Dip, uh, Duck, Dive, and Dodge on the winning 2016 Dodgeball Intramural Tournament. Team members are Jared Zeezer, Nate Seeley, Kirby Kerr, Dylan Cantney, Canty, Reese Phillips, Matt Condon, Trot Carey, and Jacob McNeil. All girls wishing to participate in the volleyball next fall should sign up in the athletic office by next Friday, May 27th. Participants can mark their calendars for the organizational meeting to be held on Thursday, May 26th in the high school gym at 6. The deadline has been extended till the end of the day today to order a baseball t-shirt with players' names on the back. Pick up order forms from the cashier's office. There's a short sleeve option for $12 and a three-quarter sleeve option for $15. That's Sports Becky. Back to you. Thanks, Garrett. And news from the counselors? Seniors. Don't forget to start working on your checklists. Remember, you will not be able to graduate if yours are not done. They are due by noon on Wednesday. For more information on this story, stop by your counselor's office or check out their blog or website. Now Jonah joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Becky. On the Arts and Clubs scene, the NHS, the NHS roadside cleanup is tomorrow from 10 to 12. Our sheets are due to Mr. Brandon by Monday. 
It's not too late to order our 2015-2016 yearbook. Go to the high school website and follow the link for more information. The Linmar Magazine Club is selling the new edition of Identity Magazine. Get yours Monday before school in the Four Corners. They are $5 each. The rescheduled Soda Sand Volleyball Tournament is tonight at 645. That's your club update. Becky, back to you. Thanks, Donna. Hey, Garrett, what's for lunch? Well, today it is the breaded chicken sandwich or the deli sandwich bar. In the food court, it's popcorn chicken with baked beans. That's lunch. Becky, back to you. Thanks, Garrett. Now, LMTV's weather forecaster Garrett Hyde is here with your LMTV weekend weather report. Get Garrett? Thanks, Becky. This weekend looks a lot sunnier than it will be next weekend. For, we are looking forward to a beautiful weekend. Your LMTV forecast calls for a mostly sunny day today with a high around 72. For Saturday, it looks mostly sunny with a high of around 75, and then Sunday will look mostly sunny with a high of around 77. That's your weekend forecast. Becky, back to you. Thanks, Garrett. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. The entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again on Monday, and have a great weekend, Linmar.